everyone to Planet Linux. My name is Elliot and this is my first review of a Linux distribution. Today we'll be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate 17.04. Now in the past people have called Ubuntu Mate simply the gold standard of sorts for Linux distributions. Uh, the Mate desktop environment which is very reminiscent of that that was found in GNOME 2 uh, is very simple, very clean, and it stays out of your way while letting you be really productive. Now, the Ubuntu Mate team has taken things really to the next level, providing a very clean and polished uh, distro that is great for both new users as well as advanced Linux users, um, especially those that really did like the GNOME 2 desktop before Ubuntu uh, switched to Unity as opposed to GNOME 3. Great way to start is taking a look here at the what's new. A quick look is of course we have the updated Mate desktop 1.18 which has some changes and improvements in and of itself. Uh, we have new icons this time around. They're very similar to what we've seen in the past, but uh, much more polished. They were contributed from members of the elementary team. Elementary OS, of course. Uh, we have the Brisk menu now as an option, which is, of course, an application launcher of sorts that is available with the new Pantheon, yeah, uh, Pantheon layout that you can enable in the Mate Tweak tool. We'll take a quick look at that. As well as some new theming, we have a new dark theme as well as some polish to the existing themes. And as I mentioned, we'll look at the Welcome Center. This is the main reason why, is there is now a bulk queue capability so you can install multiple pieces of software or remove software, update uh, at once, you don't have to wait for the previous one to finish in order to click to install the next piece of software. To start, how about we take a look at that welcome screen since we've been talking about it. This may come up by default when you first load into Ubuntu Mate. If it doesn't, you can access it from the system menu and then click welcome. This is probably the one of the most polished welcome screens I have seen of any Linux distribution to date. The Linux Mint one is very good. I've got to say this tops it though. The biggest thing here that makes this so amazing is the software button. And Ubuntu Mate comes with this software boutique, as it's called. And it is truly fantastic. This is honestly I believe what all Linux distributions should have in one way or another. It's a starting point to find uh, any kind of software that you would need on your computer. Whether you're new to the distribution or you're just interested in seeing what's available, maybe you're coming from Windows and you want to find some alternatives, uh, this is a fantastic uh, way of doing things. All your apps are categorized and you can go through and clearly see uh, what applications are in each category. There is a search button here so you can actually search for applications if you'd like. I don't believe this used to be in here. This may be new in 17.04. Don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure it was not here at least in 16.04. Maybe they got it in 16.10. Um, and so we will just find an example application here. Okay, for the time being we'll get VirtualBox, which I don't personally have a need for at the moment. But So you can click on any of these. You can click Details to view a little bit more about it and see some screenshots. And when you're ready, you just click the Install button. And of course, I'm guessing, enter your password here. Though it hasn't asked yet. Ah, because it is uh, probably sitting in the queue. Yes, it is. So this is where you can add multiple apps at once. You don't have to wait for one 
to completely install and then choose another to have it completely install. You can select all of them that you want, go into the bulk queue, they'll all show up here, and you can click apply changes and it will go through and install each of those. Or remove or update if you have any um, available or if you've selected any to do those. This may take a moment here. If it looks like it's going to take too long, then I'll pause the video and come back. Ah, here we go for our password. I knew it was going to happen eventually. So as you can see, very simple installation process. Just go straight through, installing all the necessary packages. Alright, so VirtualBox is finished installing. You may have seen the notification up here. So now we'll see along the top here for our categories we have more software here is where you can uh, download additional package management we of course have the GNOME software center here which I have installed we also have the ability to download and install the synaptic package manager which is uh, especially for Ubuntu based distributions in my opinion a great thing to have for managing your installed packages so as I mentioned previously, um, we'll take a look uh, at the new aesthetics that we saw in the What's New. Um, the first of which is the new icons, updated icons, and it's subtle. You know, it's there's still the same general icon themings that we've seen in Ubuntu Mate for a while. Uh, of course, very green, but they just look much more polished and refined than they have before, and. Let's see if I can zoom in on these any. They just are very consistent. You know, there aren't any blurred or low resolution edges. You know, they're very high resolution icons. They look very good, very polished. Um, definitely a great job done with the icons. As for the supposed new dark theme, we'll take a look at that going into appearance. Computer's running a bit slow right now with the screen recording software going. And here we go, we are currently on the supposedly custom theme, though I believe it's just the standard Mate theme, uh, ambient. Of course, here is the ambient dark theme. We will click on that. And I have mixed feelings about dark themes. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. Personally, with the green, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just feels too much like Linux Mint. I love Linux Mint. It has some great things. Uh, but for the same reason that I don't like Mint theming, it's just I'm not a huge fan of the dark themes with the green. Um, of course, we have all the other themes we've had here previously. I've installed one or two additional ones, such as this which you can of course install from third-party files. Here's the Radiance theme, if it fully applies. There we go. Which is of course the other main theme that is in Ubuntu proper. Um, so of course they have it in Mate as well. This doesn't look too bad. We'll stick with the default uh, ambience theme for the time being. And finally, for the aesthetics, I want to take a look at the Pantheon layout in the Mate Tweak tool. The panels here can be customized to numerous different layouts, layouts in the Mate Tweak tool, um, wherever it is. Look and feel. A lot of things can be customized in here, including which applications show up on your desktop. I have it set to show my home folder, my trash, and any mounted volumes. So if I plug in an external storage device, a USB, or I put in a CD or DVD, it will show up as an icon on the desktop. Um, so various interface options, how icons show up on menus and buttons. The panel, this is what we're really focused on here. Right now we're set to Ubuntu Mate. Now we have numerous options. We have Redmond Netbook, which is a sort of um, netbook friendly. It, it saves space. You know, instead of having 
I believe, we'll take a look. Uh, yeah, instead of two panels, one at the top and bottom, it combines them down into one panel. And you have a combined sort of menu here, which is good, for, especially for smaller screens. Um, Mutiny, GNOME 2, which is very similar to the, to the default. Um, Fedora, Pantheon, and Cupertino. Now, Pantheon here is the new... Uh, we've experienced an internal error. No worries, everything appears to still be working just fine. Now, Pantheon is where the changes have been made here. I believe Pantheon has been in Ubuntu Mate previously. I could be mistaken. But the talk is of the new Brisk menu here, which does look very nice. This almost reminds me of the Cinnamon menu. Um, also kind of like the Whisker menu in XFCE. You know, it's very clean. You have a search box up here. I believe this is a search box. Yes, it is. Uh, all your applications categorized and then quick buttons for uh, shutting down, uh, logging out, locking the screen. So, very nice menu indeed. We, of course, have a little dock down here, which I believe is courtesy of Plank, as I believe I saw that in the applications earlier. Switch to Cupertino, as I'm not actually familiar with what that is. Okay, so Enlightenment, or excuse me, Enlightenment, uh, not Enlightenment. God, I'm forgetting. Uh, Pantheon, wow. Um may not have been in here previously. I was remembering the dock, but that might have been from Cupertino. So, in summary, Ubuntu Mate, especially 17.04 in particular, has just been a fantastic distribution. Um, it's been great for the last year or so, specifically. Um, but 17904 has just brought a lot of little things that just polish the experience that much more. From the new welcome, or the updated welcome screen, the ability to install multiple apps at once, from the software boutique, the polished icons that truly look fantastic, um, the updated menu that they have for the Pantheon look. It's all just adds that much more polish to an already fantastic Linux distribution. Um, if this was the gold standard last year, it's becoming the platinum standard now. It's just fantastic. I recommend this for really anyone who just wants a simple desktop that's customizable, um, but gets out of the way. You know, leaves plenty of space for your applications and to get done what you need to get done. It's also great for new users. It's There's not a huge learning curve to it. Whether you're coming from Windows or Mac or you've never really used a computer before, it's simple enough for just about anybody to get understand. And with that customization, having the Mate Tweak tool, being able to change the layouts of the panels, the menus, you can really make the system look and behave in a way that is very easy for you to use. So I can't wait to see what the Ubuntu Mate team does in the future. I look forward to reviewing it then. I look forward to future videos here on Planet Linux. That concludes this video. I will see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. I certainly have enjoyed making it. I'll see you next time.